Hey, I hope that uh, you're doing well. Um, today is the 25th of December 2019 and um, by the time that I upload this I hope it will be <laughs> it will still be that date but uh, that could or could not be the essence of the video is from this day so this is about the three the three wise men so this is a story that has been um, given to us um, from a young age I always knew the story about the three wise men <clears throat> and how they came to Jesus and gave him three gifts after they saw his star in the sky so what's interesting about this is the fact that this story has always been uh, given to us in artwork different forms of art have always depicted the wise men sorry it's so noisy because there um, there's just some um, activities going on but then <clears throat> the story of the wise men has always been given to us um, in the pictures of three people who come um, through art like uh, the artists of renown have always painted these wise people and have always given them as these three people but what's interesting about it are two things the first thing is that there's always a black melanated being there's always a black person an african person who represents wisdom and this is always consistent in all of the artwork that has been depicted and this is one of the few places where you see European art depicting uh, wisdom um, in the black person because all of the other images of black people have been systematically given as people who are not wise to say the least so that's a very interesting um, aspect of it and now the second thing is the fact that the three wise men don't exist the story is actually about wise men and we don't even know how many they were so the number three has been given as a primer through art because art was the medium that exchanged the ideas to the people so the wise men are not three but then there are many so they are plu they're plural like they're more than three but then three is the number that represents eternity and uh, that represents growth and all of that so there are always three wise men but the bible the word is not three wise men it just says wise men and uh, their wisdom is such that they were able to decipher what is in the sky and they were able to find through the light they were able to find the life so this is the story of their wisdom so their wisdom traces back to people like daniel because daniel is the wisest of the wise people solomon is a wise king Daniel is a wise man and um, Solomon was incomparable to any other person and Jesus mentioned Solomon in terms of how he was beauty beautified by his wisdom the Queen of Sheba came and then says half the things were not told of me and I love that you're so wise and all of that but Daniel is depicted as being wise the wisest of the wise men because he was ten times wiser than all of the wise men that were in Chaldea or Babylon so he was wise, 10 times wiser than them. And he had the ability to interpret uh, dreams and visions. And when the wise men were finding Jesus, they were being communicated through with dreams. And they were able to visualize the, star, the, the sign uh, of the sky. And they were able to actually manifest Jesus. And um, Daniel had that ability through dreams and visions, which is another realm which is another realm of understanding. So they were able to understand the dreams, the visions, the pictures, the images. They were able to understand the, the symbols that were in the sky. Such that, you know, people see these symbols or these uh, hosts of heaven and they worship the sky. But then it actually says they were looking at the sky so that they could worship Jesus. They could worship the person who came from the skies. He was from the dust, which is the star dust. So they were able to understand that. When, um, um, when the story of the king of Tyre, which is the king of tyrants, this is where the word tyrant comes from, the oppressor. When the wisest oppressors, like the king of Tyre, who is wise who has all of these commercial activities is being spoken of by ezekiel in chapter 28 he says that thou art wiser than daniel 
It doesn't say thou art wiser than Solomon. It doesn't say thou art wiser than Job. It says Daniel. So Daniel is very, very potent and wise in what he was doing. So this is actually where the Magi starts and this is the magistration. This is um, akin to magic because Daniel was grouped with among the magicians. But he himself was a Magi or Jedi. He was his own being. He was able to use the wisdom of God, not the wisdom of uh, the world, not the wisdom of the, the, the physical. So in the story of the three wise men, we're actually seeing a continuation of uh, the understanding of Daniel because this is the wisdom that we are being given through the word of God. So, yeah. So the story of the wise men is not the three wise men. The story of the wise men is about the wise men. That story represents dreams. So when, as we're going into 2020, which is um, um, 2020, amazing year, which represents balance too. Man should not be alone. So we need Adam and Eve 2020. This is what we got, two and two. These are the only numbers in it. And uh, twos actually represent fives. The way that you can write two, you can write it as a two or you can write it as a five. And um, there's a video I made a while back about <clears throat> the days of creation in numerology, how the numbers actually exist as symbols. So I don't know if I really uh, alluded to the number two, but the number two is the flip side of the number five. Let me just quickly jot that down. That would be, yeah, I'll just do that as quickly as I can. All right, so this is two. And this is another way of writing two like this. And that is the way of writing that. So I hope this is gonna auto -fo focus because I just wrote it here. So yeah, this is two, right? And, uh, so I see that it's a bit blurry. That's two and that's five and that's two. So both ways are different ways of writing two. And I hope you just got the picture of it, but <clears throat> that's 2020, which is actually 50-50, which is balance, 50-50. So this is 100, um, this is 40. 40 is four, um, four, which is the tetra, which is the tetragrammaton, which is, yeah. So just look at that video and uh, just look at the numbers and how they work if uh, you're interested in that but the wise men are representing our dreams so follow your dreams because god speaks to the wise through dreams when solomon was being given wisdom when god met him he met him in a dream and they are yeah they a couple because i love solomon so there are a couple of videos on solomon that speak about that as a matter of fact um I want everyone who is interested in this video and in the coming videos because I haven't been making as many videos because you know I'm fighting the third world war <laughs> seriously because the third world war um, is a war in the third world this is what's happening at the moment so, so forgive me for not being able to uh, express myself as much as I want because the the welfare of the world is in the hands of the wives so this is why I'm compelled to make these videos. I have to speak to people because iron sharpens iron. So I want to connect with people. So I want us to go through the wisdom of Solomon, the actual entire book. And through this, I just want people to reverberate and feed back so that we are on the same page as we journey into such a metaphysical book. Because diving into that book without being in one accord, without being... Um, together as one is not going to be beneficial so this is um, um, my uh, plea to you guys just take these messages and do what you will with them so that they will be like a wheel wheels within wheels which is what Ezekiel saw with the highest of the highest angels so let us have these wheels within the wheels and those wheels within the wheels in the seraphim which is the flaming one's fire, where, um, where the angel's will was, because he said wherever they willed to go, the wheels would go. So these are the wheels within the wheels. So let us do this together. Be the will and 
I'll be the wheel, right? So that we can move together. So I hope you get that. So this is just um, something as we go into the wisdom of Solomon. So, so we can actually go through the entire book, but we have to do this with wisdom. So um, understanding that the, the wisdom of Solomon also came through a dream. The wisdom in the earth came through a dream because when, when the, the wise men were venturing where they were going, they were told what to do and what not to do through dreams by God. When Solomon was given wisdom, he was asked and he received, he perceived and he actually committed through dreams, through a dream. So a dream is a realm. This is a realm where you're able to have a ream. A ream is a lot of things. So this is where you're able to get anything. This is infinity. This is where it's not just three, but three is the infinite number because it's God three in one. So they were able to do this, all of the wise people, Daniel, um, Solomon, and uh, even David. David had a lot of different dreams because he's always speaking about how he used the hours of sleep in order to pray and all of these things so that he would tap into a different realm. So um, this is wisdom and um, this Christmas, next Christmas, this year, coming year, this moment is what's important. And in this moment, I hope that you harness the power of your wisdom, the power of um, the true wisdom, which is even found in black people. <laughs> because this is important for me to mention as I am a black person. Bantu, uh, a Bantu is just a moon, just sand, just whatever that is, which is just a person. This is just sand, which is just humus as that, which is what I am. It is important to realize that that is where wisdom is, which is in the soil. So, so yeah, so st stick to your dreams. Yeah, keep them close. And um, I hope that we'll be coming into contact together. So this is from my heart to yours. Um, I hope that uh, you can grow in wisdom. And uh, there's so much that I would really love to share with you. So just be in contact with me, keep in touch, and I am so sorry if I've not been able to uh, be as available in this current moment. But all things are in the right timing of God, because as I said, it is really a third world war. So, you know, just join the effort and let's fight this together. Let's win this together because the victory is for Zion. <laughs>